Well, good evening, everyone. How you doing? My name is Frank Perrine. I am the artist, uh, main arts for MF3, and you are listening to or watching MF3 Showcase. So today, I'm going to do something to catch you guys off guard a little bit. Um, so it, uh, I'm with my silent producer there, and he's just chilling out, um, sleeping as usual. He's getting a little bit better uh, with the cough and things of that nature, so we're doing pretty good. So today, I'm just, I've am just i already started sketching it out, and I haven't drawn some of these characters in a long time. Um, but, uh, you know, one of my really, really good friends is a huge fan. Um, so I I know that he'd probably like this, and, and uh, so we're going to get right to it. So... Anyone from the 80s uh, might totally know this. And it is uh, uh, G.I. Joe. Go Joe, right? So uh, there was a cartoon, a lot of figures and aircraft carriers and everything like that. So I decided to draw um, uh, Snake Eyes today. And I uh, always liked that character. It reminds me a lot of Spider-Man and different things like that. Plus, back then, <coughs> we were just obsessed with ninjas and... And all sorts of stuff. So, uh, so I already kind of sketched it out like I usually do, so it doesn't take too long. Let's get to it. All right. Now you're probably going, "Wow, that's pretty easy. really sketched out." But you know how it is. I like doing the sketch first, get us kind of going here a little bit. Now this one I'm not going to do really really thick lines, but I'll you know because I like doing thick lines. But we'll see how it goes. Now, like I said, a lot of the this stuff that I do is straight up freehand. I know that you can use rulers and all sorts of other you know things like that, but I'm not going to. Because I want to be, I'm not a, not original, but I just want to actually do it the way I want to do it. Now remember I told you this is not, definitely not a tutorial um, for anyone that is drawing. Um, I'm just drawing. Just me. Because it's not that I can't do tutorials but I do it my way and in the end you know if you're doing something for a teacher like I said before or something in that arena you want to make sure that you're doing it the way they want to do it because they're actually doing things for a reason to teach you something me, I'm just drawing to draw. I'm not trying to impress anybody or, you know, anything like that. I just am doing Frank, right? Now, like I said, I've always liked this character. Like I said, it's like total Ninja City, right? Now, anyone that knows, I mean, this whole series um, was huge. It had a lot of following. And uh, a lot of people liked it. You know, like now, I guess if you find that aircraft car carrier, man, you're like in with Flynn, man. This is a little bit different bust, see, so most of the time it would be different, but this is a little bit different than most. Now it's tough because I've heard a lot of good things, some good things about the movies, some bad things about the movies. You know, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the 
the movies and what you like about G.I. Joe, what character you like. Because I wouldn't mind like drawing some of these characters, you know, over and over again. Not not the same one, but like the series, it would be cool to draw some of the other characters in it, right? At least I would think it would be cool. Anyone that has liked this show or, you know, that's cool. My friend Justin, he is a huge fan. He is kind of like a, he's kind of like a broker for comics and things of that nature. Oh, I don't like that. And um, so he has collected stuff. Um, G.I. Joe and a lot of other things that are related. I don't like the way that that was coming out. I might just darken that out. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how that works. I might have to extend that a little bit. Yes, I think I will have to. That's okay. Like I told you before, you're drawing. You can do what you want with it. Remember that. You don't need anyone to give you permission to do what you want to do. And like I said, I always say if you're doing it for an art class or something like that, well, they have you doing it for a reason to teach you something, so definitely you want to do it right then. But if you're doing it just for you, don't worry about it. You can do what you want. Like me, I'm always kind of doing what I want to do. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is do an idea where my stuff wants to be in my shadows. But let's do this first. So, <clears throat> I go way back to the point where, oh, oh. I go way back to the point with when I was a kid, the G.I. Joe uh, characters were big. The, um, um, they were super big. I kind of like this watercolor. I think I'm going to do it in that, right?
It's kind of how I did the Spider-Man one. I'm kind of digging it. I'm going to come back in and kind of erase those things and where I want it. I kind of like the whole brush kind of feel to it. And then I'll come in and I'm going to erase the stuff on the top there. And I'm going to put all the darker shadows in a minute. I just want to get a darker base because his costume is completely black. And it's cool. I always liked him because he doesn't only really use guns. You know, he uses his sword and guns and has a dog. And he's got a lot of the cool things going on. I used to, for a little bit, I was actually selling, um, I was selling through Justin, I, we were selling some pretty cool uh, G.I. Joe drawings, um, everything from Cobra Commander to, like I said, Snake Eyes and all that stuff, it was really cool. All right, here we go. So now I'm going to do some darker shadows. And I'll lighten them up, I think. So then I'll lighten them up, so... Yeah, and, and, you know, if you want, send me, send me a message, man. Tell me which one, which character that meant a lot to you in the G.I. Joe franchise. Man, there's so many that people like. Now, I know the movie wasn't, a lot of fans really just didn't, or a lot of hardcore fans really didn't like the the movie too much. I think if you maybe didn't like 
or didn't know a lot about. Um, G.I. Joe, it might have been kind of good to you. Might have been fun. You know, I was a I was a G.I. Joe fan, but not really you know, when the cartoons came out and everything like that, I was really on to other things. Um, but I still liked I still liked the cartoons and I liked the I thought it was cool. Now you guys that know me lots of times I'm just I'm just doing it. I'm just having fun. Trying new things. That's what I like doing. Like I said, what I liked about this guy the most is that is that whole tapping into that old ninja stuff that I used to like when I was a kid. All of us were always watching, at least I was, watching ninja stuff. Uh, this would be one scary guy you run into if you run into this dude at night. I mean, the weapons and stuff this dude wields, man, forget about it. You might as well just forget about it. Like I said, I'm going to probably start doing some time lapse so that I can really get into the drawing and you guys could see some of my more detailed stuff that I take time on. These I just try to try to get out as fast as possible. Now there's a wondering I'm drawing on a a Huleon tablet, um, which I love. Um, it was kind of pricey, uh, but definitely worth it. I mean, definitely worth it. It was awesome to me.
I'm liking the way it's coming out. Hoping I'm making it so I'm hoping I'm making it okay for all you G.I. Joe fans out there. It's so funny because I think this is one of the most iconic G.I. Joe characters. I think so. I didn't like the way that looked. All right, now I'm going to clean it up a little bit, all right? So I want to get rid of that stuff right there. So let's clean it up here. Of course, I didn't draw his dog or anything. We'll get to that stuff. Maybe in another one.
All right. I think it's going down pretty good. At least I think so. All right. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit of white in there, strictly for a little bit of highlight there.
All right. Now, I don't know if you guys have liked it, but I mean, I didn't really, didn't really get a lot of, didn't get blabby in this one. I didn't talk a lot. I was just kind of into it. And I hope that's okay with you guys. All right, now. Now let's figure out a background. Let's do red. Right, I think I'm uh, coming to a closure. All right, everybody. I'm hoping that you have enjoyed my uh, version of Snake Eyes. I enjoyed it. Now it's time to sign. I got some little more stuff to do.
All right. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, you G.I. Joe fans, definitely let me know um, what you guys think. And I know Yoshi's back there, and he loves it. Look at him smiling. He just loves it. Hey, let me get in there and zoom it in a little bit for you. All right, how does that look? All right. So that is my uh, G.I. Joe uh, Snake Eyes. Hopefully you liked it. I, I see some stuff wrong with it, but I'm okay. It's just a, a, a fun drawing. And and it's cool because, I mean, it's cool because we did this whole one, you know, without a, without R2. Hey, R2, how you doing? Uh, you know, I'll draw some stuff. You know, why do you guys bug so much, dude? I'll draw Star Wars. Don't worry, I'll get you. You and Stitch are crazy. I don't understand you two. It's like you guys are constantly... Stitch. Dude, don't worry. We'll, d we'll do some, some Disney stuff. All right? Just chill out. Uh, people want to see other stuff. All right. Anyway. So... Hope you guys liked it. Um, I'll be posting it. Uh, definitely follow me. You can f you could also follow me on Instagram, Frank W. Perrine on Instagram, and see all my boneyard stuff, which is in the back. Um, I'm gonna be, uh, um, you know, doing some shows and stuff, and and you guys will uh, be able to uh, tune in and see some cool stuff. All right. Well, thank you again. You guys have a great night. All right, Yoshi, time to go.